Hello, I'm Brad Simpson from Simpson Limited Collector Firearms, and I would like to talk a little bit about post-war Mauser Lugers. Now, at this time, we happen to have one of the best collections and the best variety of post-war Mausers, so I'd like to talk a little bit about them and why people choose to collect them. Now, the main three reasons people collect these is number one, the variety. You've got all the different calibers. You've got the different models, variations, barrel lengths. There are different cases. You can see leather, vinyl, cardboard, plastic. And um, so you have a wide variety of items to collect. Number two is condition and authenticity. These guns tend to be in excellent condition and they are easy to authenticate. And third is price. As you know, the price of original Lugers from the war or before the wars are sometimes crazy. And these guns tend to be relatively inexpensive in comparison. So first I'd like to talk about the different variations. For example, the basic Luger 4 inch PO8 frame. You know, this one happens to be Russian marked. But if you'd like a, a standard example of a Luger, they're available. Also, for example, the Navy version, one of the iconic Lugers, six inch barrel, two position rear sight. Just like the original Navy, same dimensions, same caliber, etc. But as you can see, mint condition with an original case, target, manual, etc. The artillery, another iconic Luger from World War I. Uh, multi-position rear sight, 8-inch barrel, stock lug, you know, one of the iconic Lugers that uh, you see in the World War I movies. The carbine, walnut forearm, long barrel, ramp, long ramp front sight, adjustable rear sight, stock lug with the original stock and pretty much to the same specifications as the ones made over a hundred years ago. And the advantage of these is they tend to be in mint condition. You get an original case, test target, manual, etc. Now, if you like rare variations, for example, the cartridge counter, an iconic gun. They only made 50 originals. Um, as you can see, there's a window to where you can see how many bullets are left in the magazine, made to the same specifications. But in this case, mint condition, no question as to authenticity, they're real. Comes in a case, extra magazine, certificate, etc. Test target. If you want rarer items, here's a uh, gold inlaid. You can see the gold line inlay, you know, something they rarely did pre-war. And if you see one of the early guns like this, you have to question its authenticity. In this case, you can get a certif certificate from the Mauser archive. There's no question as to authenticity. It's in mint condition. It's beautiful.